could just lift the crate. So if I could get something smoother underneath it, that would make the friction less and I wouldn't have to use so much force to move it. But what sort of thing can I put under it? I know what might help. This is my sledge. Meant to slide, isn't it? Ah. But what about this rubber on the runners? Could be a problem. We'll see. But to move this, I need to apply a force of 220 newtons. Can my sledge improve on that? Oh. This made things worse. 320 newtons. The rubber on the floor has increased the frictional force. I'm going to have to try some different materials on my sledge runners. I've organised an experiment to find out which material has the least friction force when it moves over the aircraft floor. I'll use this block to represent the sledge runner, weights to represent the crate, and this is the floor. Now, first, I'll attach, in turn, each of these materials. And then, I'll attach a forceometer onto the block and try and pull it across the flooring. And the forceometer will tell me how much force is needed to be greater than the friction force. Polythene. Shiny. Sandpaper. It's a bit rough. Then, put sand under the block. Might work. Baking tray. This is non-stick Teflon. All in the cause of science. So some obviously did better than others. Sandpaper, made up of all those tiny grains, 68 newtons. Wood, 42. Polythene, even though it was very shiny, still needed 36 newtons. But the material with the least frictional force of those I tried was Teflon, 30 newtons. So, all I have to do is put Teflon on my sledge runners and away I go.